Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, collective, let's take a look at your person's current energy towards you. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what is this person's current energy towards the collective, whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What is this person's current energy towards the collective? All right, here we go. Three shuffles, that's one. That's two. And one more, three. Keep in mind, all the cards are upright before I shuffle. All right. What's the energy of this person towards the collective? What's the current energy of this person towards the collective? Whoever the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, first card we have for them is the moon. Some of you might be connecting to a Pisces or a Cancer. We also have the Four of Cups in their energy, more Cancer energy. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus at the bottom of the deck. Temperance. Five of Cups in Reverse, Three of Wands, and Page of Swords. Sagittarius energy, um, Scorpio energy, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. All right, so in regards to this person's current energy towards you collective. So this person's trying to figure out something here. They're not moving. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which means they're not moving right now. They're stationary. They're thinking with the Moon card and the Four of Cups. They're thinking, they're reflecting. They're trying to figure out something. Hmm. We do have the Five of Cups in reverse, so I do feel like this person is, is thinking about returning back to the past, about whether they should return back to the past. And I feel like the past would be you, uh, collective. Yeah, it's like they want to. That's why they're watching you here with the Page of Swords in reverse. This person's watching you, spying on you, thinking about you. They want to return back to you, but they are feeling pretty insecure about it and scared. We do have the Temperance card here, so it does look like this person wants to fix things with you. They want to fix the relationship with you. So it does look like something went wrong in the relationship between you and this person. Looks like things haven't been working out between the two of you. Now I do feel like this person recognizes that it's up to them. It's up to them to make things right with you. It's their responsibility, basically, with the Knight of Pentacles to make things right with you. So they are um, feeling guilty here about something with the Moon and the Four of Cups. They're feeling guilty about something. They definitely are um, recognizing that they messed things up with you. They messed up the relationship with you in some way. And they do have regrets. They do have regrets. And like I said, they, I feel like they wanna reach out, they wanna communicate, 
but they're very nervous about it. So I want to take a look at that. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Swords in Reverse, connected to their energy towards the Collective. Why the Page of Swords in Reverse? Okay, so we do have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is kind of like an apology, especially with all of these cards showing up here. So I do feel like this person wants to apologize here. Um, they definitely want to make things right. It's like they want to get rid of the heavy energy that they feel exists between the two of you right now. The heavy energy or the tension, the, the negativity. The negativity that they feel exists between the two of you right now they want to get rid of it because it's it's causing them to be um, isolated here and they're starting to feel really lonely and really um, abandoned they're starting to feel very abandoned rejected sad I, it's almost like they're they feel nostalgic they're missing you they're feeling unloved and it's kind of like they want things to be good again between the two of you they want balance with the temperance card hmm. I want to look at the Knight of Pentacles. Mm -mm. All right, let's look at everything though. Tell me, tell me about the moon. Spirit, why is the moon this person's current energy towards the collective? Why the moon? Okay, we do have the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, this person's feeling kind of powerless for some reason. They feel powerless. They feel like something is out of their control. Um, which might not be true. They just feel like something is out of their control. But that's not necessarily true. There are things they can do. They just feel too insecure and too... Um, uh, nervous to do anything right now so they feel um, trapped by their own fears and insecurities or they feel powerless due to their own fears and insecurities let's see if we can look at that those fears tell me about the four of cups in this person's current energy towards the collective, why the Four of Cups? Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's a codependency energy here connected to this person. Two times they're showing up as a page. I'm not seeing any court cards. I'm not seeing any king or queen. So they are showing up as a page two times with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a very codependent person. Um, basically, they're feeling sad and they're feeling... Um, kind of depressed, I want to say, especially with the moon and the, you know, the moon and the Four of Cups. Do you see this energy? It looks like depressed. This is someone who's feeling pretty depressed and sad, but it's not, it's not really for reasons related to you, you know? I mean, you're part of it, I suppose. You're part of it because there's a separation here. But in reality, like, their depression has to do with their lack, their, their feeling of inadequacy, you know? 
in some way this person is feeling like inadequate in their own life and you know within their own self it's like someone who's struggling to you know manifest the things that they want for themselves or accomplish the things that they want for themselves on a personal level they're failing in their own goals but instead of like you know working harder towards the things that they want to achieve being more disciplined i feel like they're kind of lazy in their energy and they're kind of in this kind of like self-pity energy also and they're trying to kind of fill the void by you know connecting to people relationships they're using relationships to to fill the void which is this card 9 of pentacles in reverse so i feel like that's something that they use you for collective they use you you know to fill that void to fill that emptiness that has nothing to do with you it has to do with their own like feeling feelings of inadequacy with their own self hmm. yeah because i'm not getting any king or queen here all right well let's see what else tell me about the knight of pentacles in their current energy so yeah they're basically in this energy of you know i need someone to to help me to make me feel better about myself you know I need someone to give me attention. I need someone to give me love. I need someone to, you know, help me feel like I'm worth something, you know, because on their own, they don't really have a very high sense of self-worth. Mm. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and their current um, energy towards the collective. We have uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Tell me more about that spirit. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles here in their energy towards the collective. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's good. All right, well, I definitely feel like this person is definitely becoming more self-aware. That's why we have the temperance card here. I feel like they are starting to become a little bit more self-aware, um, which is a good sign here. The Knight of Pentacles basically tells me that this person is realizing that, you know, they can't keep um, sulking and, you know playing the victim and feeling bad for themselves and creating excuses, you know. They need to like start making actual plans of what they want to do moving forward. They need to get more serious. They need to, you know, be more mature and more responsible. No, so they're, it's like they're realizing that no, one, no one's going to help them. No one's going to help them. No one's going to carry them or take care of them, you know. They need to, they need to fend for themselves, basically. They need to take care of themselves. So I do see that there is a little bit of um, growth 
that's happening with this person or at least that's that's what's starting to happen or attempting to happen here I like that mm -hmm. yeah I like that I do, I do feel like this person is starting to kind of transform their their mentality they're gaining confidence here okay they're gaining confidence to to take action towards the things that they want to manifest and accomplish for themselves because if not no one's going to come and do it for them if they want something they need to get up and they need to get up and get it you know and go for it no one's going to bring it to them on a silver platter you know so i feel like they're waking up to that to that truth right all right we might come back to this person i'm gonna go to you collective right now we might come back later i mean we'll definitely come back but we'll see if i keep digging in that energy or not i'll leave it there for now all right spirit what's the energy of the collective towards this person What's the energy of the collective towards this person currently? Let's get three shuffles for the collective. All the cards are upright before I shuffle. We have one. Two. And let's get one more. all right what's the current energy of the collective towards this person whoever the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with and love thank you spirit first card we have for you oh whoa look at that knight of pentacles in reverse it's interesting hmm that's the opposite of what they have. All right, tell me more. What's the energy of the collective towards this person currently? Ooh, Ace of Swords. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh-oh, Fool in Reverse. Mm -mm. Yikes. You're not, your energy is not very warm, collective. It feels a little cold. And, and cutting, right? Ace of Swords, cutting. All right. Bottom of the deck in regards to the collective's current energy towards this person. The moon. Oh, you also have the moon. Look at that. Six of, oh, okay. <laughs> Six of Cups in reverse to the, uh-oh. Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and look at that. You have the Hierophant here. What is this? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person's energy is feminine, and yours is masculine, um, collective. So you're calling the shots, kind of, basically, here. You're calling the shots. You have the upper hand. Yeah, you're not happy with this person. This person definitely um, hurt you uh, deeply, right? Deeply. Look at this. The moon to the six of cups in reverse to the ten of swords. This is basically feeling deeply hurt, deeply wounded, deeply betrayed deeply deceived hmm. you don't want to move forward with this person knight of pentacles is in reverse you don't want to move forward at this point you don't want to have a new beginning with them at this point fool in reverse
it's like you've you've dug your heels into the sand i feel i think that's how the phrase goes you dug your heels into the sand you're not budging you're not moving you're not accepting an apology you don't want an apology you're not interested in apology at this point it's too late at this point it's too late all right let's go ahead and clarify let's see what's going on here hmm I don't even know what I want to look at first. This is a lot of intense energy. I really want to look at the Ace of Swords, I guess. Let's see what that's about. Hmm. You're holding you're holding strong to your your truth, right? Ace of Swords is like the truth. You're holding very you're holding strong to the to the truth that you know. The truth that you know. You're holding on to that. Okay. What's the Ace of Swords um, in the collective's current energy towards this person? Ace of Swords. This person's coming up with a plan, so we'll, we'll take a look at what that, what that plan is. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the collective's current energy towards this person. We have the two of wands. What do you mean the two of wands? Tell me more. Two of wands. Tell me more about this ace of swords connected to the collective. Nine of pentacles in reverse. And the two of pentacles in reverse. Um, hmm. It's interesting. Let me just look at this side. I should have done it in order. Let me go back to this Knight of Pentacles just to see the full picture here. What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse connected to the collective's current energy towards this person that they're dealing with? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The star. Uh, you know, collective. I feel like you're 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 optimistic, or you're you're trying to make yourself, you know, optimistic of of what else is out there for you. You know, you're trying to be optimistic of of other opportunities that exist that exist out there for you that could exist out there for you. Okay, that's good. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Collective's energy. Yeah, Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. Lovers in reverse. That's nice. I like it. You know, I kind of feel like you're at, you're at the door. Um, it almost looks like you haven't fully um, stepped through the door. You're, you know, you're standing like at the door frame, in, in the middle of, of the door frame, or within the door frame, you know? It's like you're looking out into the horizon, thinking about, you know, what else is out there for you. And I feel like you're you're being an optimistic or you're trying to be optimistic. Kind of like you're one foot in, one foot out in this relationship that you have with this person, but at this point it's like you're almost out. You're because you're already thinking about what lies ahead. Like you're already thinking about the the possibilities of, of other opportunities. It's like you're already exploring other alternatives, other options, other possibilities. 
Okay. Tell me about the fool in reverse. Connected to the collector's current energy towards this person. Knight of Wands, Chariots. Wow. King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you are expecting this person to show up. This person that you're dealing with here. Knight of Wands and the Chariot. You're expecting them to show up. And you're preparing yourself to ignore them. Or to block them. Physically or energetically. Mentally. You're preparing yourself to block them. Hmm. What's the Hero Fawn to the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles connected to the Collective Spirit? Uh, collective, your energy is a little bit scattered. It, it, it does feel a little bit scattered, but I feel like you're trying to organize your, your own energy. Like you're in the process. You're in the middle of, of, of putting everything in order. Yeah. It's almost like you're reorganizing your priorities. You're reorganizing your goals or you're, yeah, you're, you're establishing new goals. It feels a little bit like spring cleaning. You know, you're doing a little bit of spring cleaning in your own energy. Throwing out what's no longer good for you and um, yeah, and setting up new um, setting setting up new objectives or new goals or new or new visions for, for that that you have for yourself for for your future. Here are Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Collective's energy. Page of Cups in reverse. I just get this energy of like, like I said, it's like you're not really interested in having a new beginning. It's like you know exactly what you want for yourself with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly what, you, what you're worth, what you deserve. And this is a committed, a committed stable, 50-50, long-term relationship. Yeah, a committed relationship with someone reliable, with someone who's dependable, loyal, mature, responsible. And you're not settling. That's what I feel like you're doing here. You're not, you're not settling. You're not settling for less. Yeah, it almost feels like you're you're rewiring your your thoughts, you know. Hmm. You're rewiring yourself. Hmm. Great. I don't get a bad energy here. Feels good. Hmm. It's just a little weird because it it all, it kind of feels like. It just kind of feels like you have a rough idea, like you have a rough, a rough draft of, of what you want to do, but you haven't fully, um, you haven't really written out the details, you know? You don't have the details set yet of exactly what you're going to do, but it's like you have a, a rough idea or a rough draft in place already if that makes sense okay hmm. i would say keep going though because you have the star here so it looks like you're in, you're you're heading down the right in the right direction you know didn't i see the star i thought i saw the star yeah it is yeah here we go star upright yeah so I feel like you're, you're doing really good. 
you're, you're making a lot of progress, even though you might not be like physically taking action yet, or you're not really physically moving yet, but it feels like you're making a lot of progress. And it feels like you're, in, you're, you're on the right road, on the right path. All right, what about this person? Let me go back to them. What are they doing? It's interesting because this person seems to be doing the same thing that you're doing now that I'm looking at it here. Because it feels like you're leveling up, but it feels like this person is in the process of leveling up as well. Both of you are leveling up, but it doesn't look like you're meeting each other. You're not meeting each other. Hmm. All right, um, let's take a look into this person's feelings. Yeah. Let's see. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's, um, what time is it? Jeez, 31 minutes already? Time flies when I, when I do readings. All right. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? What are this person's current feelings for the collective? How is this person currently feeling about the collective? Ooh, look at what flipped over here. Page of Swords flipped over and the Ace of Wands flipped over here. Mm. So they're definitely watching you again with the page of swords. I did mention that over here. They're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're thinking heavily about you. And we do have the ace of wands. It does look like they have a desire to take action in your direction. Tell me more, spirit. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? How are they currently feeling about the collective? Uh, ooh, another page. Why, why does this person have so many pages? Look at this, there's a collection of pages here. Two times page of swords, page of cups, and now page of pentacles. It's crazy. So you might be dealing with someone young, who's younger than you, or they just have like a young energy, um, definitely uh, immature type of energy. Someone who most likely doesn't really have you know, all that much stability in their life. They probably don't like um, support themselves completely. Let's see what else. Tell me about, tell me more about this person's feelings for the collective spirit, their current feelings for the collective. Uh, the seven of cups in their current feelings. Yeah, it's not good. And, oh, okay, Eight of Swords in their feelings, which we did have already here. Bottom of the deck in regards to their current feelings for you, King of Wands, okay. And the Justice card with the Knight of Swords, and here we have Four of Swords. So they definitely want to break the silence. They feel like there's a lot of silence between the two of you, of, between the two of you right now. They feel like you're giving them the silent treatment. Um, they might have been giving you the silent, silent treatment as well. Here we have the Empress. This is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as the Empress. So they're aware that you're the total package. They're aware that you're someone of, uh, you know, extremely high value. They're also aware that you're someone who has very strong boundaries or you've developed strong boundaries with the Queen of Swords. Ooh. And you're holding back four of pentacles to the six of pentacles. They're aware that you're holding back from them because you don't trust them. And you're keeping your distance and being quiet. They're aware of all of this. They're watching all of this. Um, they want to take action toward you. King of Wands. This is someone who's very, very attracted to you. Highly attracted to you. And we have the Knight of Swords to the Justice card. They definitely want to reach out and communicate. Um, they're panicking a little bit with the Knight of Swords. They're kind of panicking because they feel like you're slipping away from them. They're losing control over you. 
and they're not they're not happy about that they want to regain control let's look at the knight of swords Hmm. Yeah, seven of cups and the eight of swords. They're kind of in this energy of what, what do I do? What do I do? What am I going to do? Like, you know, like, like there's an urgency in their energy. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I say? Page of Pentacles. All right. Tell me about the <clears throat> Knight of Swords. So this is actually feeling a little bit um, career um, focused now that I'm looking at these cards. I think this person's kind of, you know, attempting to level up in their work and career. I feel like they still have work to do when it comes to their emotions, right? I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very emotionally e evasive. All right. Tell me about the Knight of Swords and this person's feelings for the collective. We have, ooh, the Strength card. Yeah, this person does not want to lose you. They do not want to lose you. They, they feel like you're way too valuable. You mean way too much to them. You're way too important to them, whether, you, whether they've expressed this to you or not. But that's the truth, you know? This person feels like they're never gonna find someone like you. They're never gonna find someone better than you. Well, you know, it kind of looks like this person took you for granted for, for what I'm seeing here, from what I can tell. So it kind of looks like this is the type of person that needs to lose you in order for them to realize your value and your worth. And I feel like that's what's happening right now. They're losing you there and they know it and now they're panicking and now they're seeing your worth. Because it kind of looks like this person was, they weren't offering you any commitment. They weren't giving you any stability or security. They were keeping their options open or they were exploring their options, you know. They were giving you breadcrumbs with the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, this person is desperate to, to like keep you with them, to not lose you. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. And their energy, uh, yeah, nine of cups. This is like, you're my wish fulfillment. You're, you're who I want. I want you. I don't want anybody else. Well, now, they, now they're in this energy of feeling sure that they want to be with you and that they want you because before it kind of looks like they weren't sure about it. But now that they've lost you or that they're losing you, now all of a sudden it's like, they know. They know without a shadow of a doubt that you're the one who they want. You know? It's that type of energy. All right. What's their most likely actions moving forward? Most likely actions moving forward? Yeah. Six of Cups. They're definitely going to attempt the reconciliation with you. Six of Cups. So expect that. Because I definitely see them, um, you know, fighting to keep this connection going. All right, collective. So that's what I see. I hope this reading helped. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.